was sick. Mix. Give it up for this young tweeds. Welcome to another episode of Drop It In. Where's Tom? I don't know what happened to Tom, but uh, replacement over here. Shreds. Whoa! Whew, that was powerful. You gotta warn me before you do that. Thanks for tuning in. Who's dropping in today? It's Chuck Trees! Design is located at the front and stop under the L at 1842B North Front Street, Philadelphia, PA, or visit us online at ZemboTemple.com. This is Tom Asta, and you're watching Dropping In. Ah. Welcome back. Chuck. I don't know what it could be. Uh, maybe it's what I'm wearing, maybe. Maybe I'll put something else on. Maybe that'll make things better. We'll be right back. <laughs> Ladies 
strapping in today? It's Chuck Charisse! Ah! would be ginger beer or my weakness would be uh skateboarding i thought it would be you can't say no i can't say no yes i can't say no to skateboarding or ginger beer so yeah we'll be right back trip tips with team rider big chair hey uh i'm gonna teach you how to ollie over a cone race high first step push towards the cone second step ollie over the cone Third step, fucking landing, transition pretty much the time. Whether it's transitioning on a skateboard or transitioning from music, learning from genres, different genres, different vibes. And it's always like not the technical aspects, like more the soul. Mm -hmm. Kind of like seventies skateboarding to like nineties skateboarding is the same thing like is like like late jazz to like early punk, you know what I mean? Kind of the correlation. So I kinda of like to flux, fluctuate between those eras and then learn from the new and learn from the old. So that's transition is what I dream about the most about. I learned how to play music first from my dad, but then punk rock made me simplify everything and I was able to see into all the things that I had already right. known, but in a simple fashion. Yeah. So, because all those early punk records and reggae records are so good. Oh. You know what I mean? It's just, you, you had to learn and be simple. So, like, who hyped you up in your early influences? Bad Brains would be probably the biggest Sorry. influence. Yeah. And then, other than that, would think The Clash, for sure. And then people, Jimi Hendrix. And just James Taylor. I mean, there's all these different. I sure. go from different idioms of people who are just kind of outcast in their own success. Right. Yeah, yes. Give it up to the outcasts. Uh, like when you're recording music, do you lay down the drums? Uh, Yes, normally for all the stuff that I did with Stacy Peralta, I would start with drums. And then the bass? Then bass. And then the guitar? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you would do it all first take? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's Dragon. The rest of Soul, yeah. Here we have team writer Sean taking a front board to Spine Plant. Ooh, tingling. Good. Sunra lives, and that's Mars first. Second would be Wilmington, Delaware, where I was born and raised. East Coast skate. Where were your early skate spots? First skate spot was uh, Easy Rider Skate Park in Wilmington, Delaware. We had a ditch called the 896 ditch. There was an ocean bowl in there in Maryland. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was also the park in, um, in Baltimore. It was scary once in a while. Was that Lansdowne? Lansdowne, yeah. yeah. And the Mecca was Cherry Hill. Noble of the Month. This month's noble is Mark Brandsetter. He likes to paint on canvases, walls, trains, planes, and nightclubs. He also makes raw street skateboarding videos and he raises kids. His work can be seen at random art shows, Instagram, YouTube, abandoned buildings, under bridges, and the occasional strip club. He was heavily influenced by his grandmother and uncle, who were extremely talented artists, 
and he was exposed to a lot at a very young age. And as he got deeper into skateboarding, he was exposed to many other artistic venues. Mark finds motivation from all over, from the people he's around and their hype levels, or the idea of a final outcome of a project. Also, he's motivated by music, or seeing something funny, or knowing that what he's doing is going to make somebody hyped in some way. He's originally from Pittsburgh, but he moved to Philadelphia in 1998. Mark's famous person crush is Rosie Perez. Not Rosie Perez now, but Rosie from the beginning of Do the Right Thing. Mark's words of life is always listen to that little voice inside your head. It's usually right. <laughs> Chuck Trees here. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. 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 Let's get back to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Who has weak style? If you push Mongo and you're on mushrooms, you have weak style. <laughs> I did that once. I opened up a portal to a different dimension. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <yeah, yeah. laughs> uh, well, what got you into skateboarding, Chuck? Um, playing a lot of baseball got me into skateboarding. I, I was really? In, really into the aspect of kind of like sports, and I played it. Right. For some reason, baseball had kind of a, a focused approach where you can just kind of either work on your swing or work on your pitch. So when I first was introduced to a skateboard, yeah. all my friends could tic-tac and do handstands, and so I kind of used the swinging method of like swinging a bat to learning how to go back and forth. And so I learned how to stick that. And then once I would go to the beach, I would kind of emulate the surfers or I would see a surf film. What is your favorite all-time spot to skate? Or the music? Okay, favorite all-time spot to skate would be, for the length of I've been skating, it would be FDR Skate Park. FDR? And then probably favorite kind of like overall music time or music place would be Love Hall, which was on Broad Street. And that's where McGrath did our first show. Oh, really? In 83, and we opened it for Minor Threat. Ooh. Back then, like, say you just go out to Broad Street, you, go, you walk out on the corner, there'd be a guy singing, and there'd be a girl playing down here, and, and not busking, just playing. And then all of a sudden, they cut the arch from the streets. And yeah. said, you guys can't really do it. So we grew up with creative people yeah. all around us. And since they got rid of the old Philly, which we were all around Robin Street and Broad Street, that's where the original punk scene. Robin and Broad. Yeah, yeah, that was it. That was a mecca. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they still come on the problem. Yes, it's been that way forever. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful history there. And that's what they kind of blew the arts apart and then everyone yeah. started moving in New York. And that's when I was like, oh man, Philly's changing yeah. so 30 plus years ago. Just one last thing. Are there any closing words of life? Closing words of life would be you should always make crepes when you're bored. They're really good. Eat tons of ginger and make sure your poops are smiling. Hell yeah. <laughs> Keep it up, Chuck Trees.